Hi, I'm James Bernard with Propellerhead Software. I'm going to show you today how to get started using the Reason demo. If you've already been using Reason, this is probably not the video for you. But if not, come on inside, let's get started. Installing the Reason demo is really easy. If you're using Windows, just double click on the icon that says Install Reason Demo. If you're using a Mac, click and drag the Reason Demo folder onto the Applications folder on your computer. Launching Reason is even easier. Double click on the Reason Demo icon, and the first time you launch it, you'll be brought to the Setup Wizard. After the friendly introduction here, click the Next button, and you'll be brought to your Audio Setup page. Here you can select whatever audio hardware you have connected to your computer. For our purposes, we're going to use the built-in audio on this Mac. If you have a Windows machine, make sure you select either a DirectX, or even better, an ASIO driver. The sample rate here is set to 44.1, and that's fine, we're going to leave that. Click on the Next button to proceed. Reason will try to detect any control surfaces that you have connected. Most of the control surfaces manufactured today will automatically be detected. If you have an older control surface or keyboard, you may have to enter it manually here. The control surface keyboard we're using now is a Korg microcontrol, and as I can see on the screen, it's already been detected and added to the list of controllers. Since we're only using the one controller, it's going to be our master keyboard as well. You can use Reason without a keyboard, but it's nowhere near as much fun. Click on Next, and then click on Proceed to get started with Reason. So here is the Reason user interface. Don't be too alarmed or scared by all of the buttons or knobs or sliders that you see on the screen. You'll get to learn those later on as you use the program. Let's give a brief introduction of what we're seeing here. Way at the top of the rack is the hardware interface, and this contains the MIDI and audio connections for Reason. Scrolling a little bit further down on the rack, we see a mixer. This is, of course, where we're going to connect any devices to hear their audio. As we scroll a little, a little further down, we see some different instruments and also effects processors, looking much like they would in the hardware world. A little further down here, we have the sequencer section. And here is where we're going to be able to record our MIDI performances and edit them and arrange them. As we go a little further down, we see our transport control. Here's where we can set tempo, start or stop or record in our song. To get an idea of how Reason works, let's start by playing one of the instruments in this demo song. To select an instrument, click on the MIDI icon next to the track that's assigned to it. In this example, I'm going to start with the After 6 instrument. Once I've selected it and I play keys on my MIDI keyboard, MIDI will be sent from the controller to the instrument and the audio from the instrument will be sent on to the mixer. To try a different instrument, just select a different track. Click on the In and I'm going to select right here this electronic piano sound. Okay, so far so good. 